Up to this moment, the most people I've ever baptized in one day was 27 people. And that took an absolute age because every one of them I baptized all by myself. Now here I am in Fiji with 40 people to baptize. But this time will be different because this time it's the young people themselves who are going to be doing a lot of the baptizing. So how do we make water baptism truly powerful like it was in the book of Acts? Well, the first thing we do is teach people to have faith that this is the literal death and burial of their old life. Things of darkness from the past that you want to leave in the waters today. When people get baptized in faith like this, that's what makes it so powerful. A real death and resurrection with Christ. The cutting off of the old man, just like we read about in Romans chapter 6. Okay, who can help me with the first baptism? Someone that wants to help me. Yep. It is not just a ceremony. It is not just some symbolic ritual. Romans 6 says it is a death and burial with Christ. And we tell people to truly believe for this. First, um, I just want to ask him quietly, uh, not on the microphone, I'll ask him quietly, what are the things of his past that he wants to leave behind buried today? The other thing we do is send people away before they're baptized to spend five minutes deeply repenting of their sins before God. All these young people have already done this before they got here today. All right. Is Jesus Christ your Lord? Yes. Amen. On confession of your faith then, brother, I baptize you now in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we just confirm for this man that everything is gone. All darkness is gone. Everything is cut off from his past. And in the name of Jesus, he is free in Jesus' name. Amen. We pronounce freedom and liberty because he has died with Christ. Amen. 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 Bless you. Okay, so normally what I would do then is here or up there, we would pray for them to get filled with the Holy Spirit and speak in tongues. Sometimes we'll do it here in the water. Sometimes we'll take them up there and somebody else will pray for them, right? But in this case, we don't need to do that. Brother already filled with the Holy Spirit. The time has come. And the water starts to fill up with both baptizers and baptizees. Over the years, I've found that releasing young people to baptize is one of the most powerful things we can do to bring them one step closer to the book of Acts. It's truly powerful, not just for those getting baptized, but also for those actually doing the baptizing. <laughs> If we want to get back to the book of Acts, we've got to start doing things the book of Acts way. There is tremendous power in baptism if we do it in faith. Mass baptisms like this are so contagious that even some pastors are asking to be baptized. A number of people are in tears as they're being baptized, deeply believing that their entire past is truly being buried with Jesus. Truly glorious day, 40 people baptized in beautiful Fiji, a day I will remember for a very long time.